Yo, yo, we back in the building. It's Braggadocia Podcast. It's your boy, Boomy Trill, figure back in the building with the villains. And I got a special guest today, man. We about to flip some bricks on the south side. Not, I mean, not the south side, already the north side, but he came to the south side for the podcast, you know what I'm saying? So congratulate him on that. We got to go to the north side, flip some bricks, move some houses, goddamn talk about some dogs, do all type of things, you know what I'm saying? So y'all come along for this adventure, man. I got my boy. What you going to be called today? Hey, EJ the man, man. EJ the man, the get man. to me one more time. EJ the man, we got EJ man on the show, man. Let's get into it. You feel me? So, man, what's the deal, man? What's going on today? Shit, ain't nothing. Chilling, chilling. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all um follow my Instagram, man. Houston Texas dot EJ the man. H T X dot EJ the man. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Hey, boy, so I ain't wasting no time. Now get, get my little subscription on. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and knock it out. So, yes, yeah, so your Instagram. You got a YouTube page, right? Yeah, my YouTube page, man, I'm just trying to start that up right now, man. You can follow me on that. Let me see if I can pull it up right here. I'm still working on it. On that. Yeah, I follow my boy YouTube. You know where his face is. You see him, man. He's going to drop a lot of knowledge today, a lot of knowledge. Yeah, yeah, the YouTube page. That's EJ the man, too, as well. Just type in EJ okay. the man. Okay, let's, up on that. Uh, let's get into it then, man, EJ the man. Uh, shit, let's, the man, tell us about who you are, you know, where you from. So, yeah, my name, like I said, EJ the man, man, born and raised from Houston, Texas, Northside, Ace home. Uh, shit, man. What's that, Northside Acre Home? Boy, you from a Tetris neighborhood. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, and for real, for real. That's where it's at out there. So, like I said, man, born and raised out there, 26 years old now. Uh, Still living out there right now, man. In the military, of course. Oh, okay. Exactly why I made this nigga right here, man. Well, okay, man, you're going to give all the, all the sauce out. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. We serving yeah. the country out here, real, worldwide. Man. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Been doing that for a little bit over eight years now. Uh... Did the Airbnb thing, the credit thing, business thing. Right now, trying to, you know, um, get in that real estate business and that trucking business, too, as well. So, you know. Oh, okay. So, okay. You multifaceted, you know, diverse around here. Yeah. So, man, what you want to talk about the first, first the Airbnbs? Man, yeah, we can get into the Airbnbs, man. Okay, man. Yeah, let's, let's do this from, uh, let's do it from your experience. Because, you know, I know you did the Airbnb thing, then you, yeah. uh. I don't know if you let it go all the way, but, you know, I mean, just give us what you got now, what you, what you, what you doing with them. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to tell you, Airbnb, B, man, that's one of the best businesses to get into, especially especially if it's if it's like one of your first businesses, one of your first things starting, you know what I mean? It's really not that hard to start. So, the way I started was uh, I was actually, I was in Deerbrook Mall one day walking around just bullshitting, and uh, I ran into one of my partners, dude named Joseph and Joseph. Uh, Joseph Nendozi, shout out to him, man. Uh, he doing his thing in real estate right now. But I met him in Deerbrook Mall. Uh, I was upstairs. He was downstairs, and I seen him from afar. And I seen it. You know, that nigga, he laying down, got a jury on and shit. I'm like, man, my nigga, like, he making money. So I went down there. I went to go talk to him, whatever. And so, you know, so we sitting there chilling. And, he, you know, that's when he pretty much put me up on the Airbnb game and told me, man, like, you know, saying you should go ahead, get into it, get into it, man. It's it's the way to go right now. He told me he was making, you know what I'm saying, and a couple year, racks a month doing it. What year this was when he said it was uh, this is the move? So, shit, COVID, what, what, COVID started in 2020, so that was like, that was that was in 2020. Yeah, 2020, yeah. Yeah, 2020, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, like beginning of 2020, maybe been like sometime in February. Okay, a lot of people, a, a, a lot of people made money in 2020, so, you know what I mean? I be kind of lurry at that, you know what I mean? Cause yeah. It's a lot of uh, what you call them gurus going around saying they you know they doing this and doing that the other, but yeah. you no, know, this is your experience. Like, like you know, tell me what's going on. How you how you you know you say you seen her shining a little bit, so you went and talked to your man's and you know he hit you with the plan. So you know, how you executed that? So basically, man, that same day, that same day, I went home to my apartment, and at the time I was staying one bedroom apartment on the third floor. Uh, had a bed, couch, two TVs, and a couple of dishes. I ain't I ain't have much, whatever. So. Uh, after he gave me the game of what I was all going to need and what I was all going to, uh, you know what I'm saying, need to have and money or whatever that you're going to need to start it, I was like, man, I basically got my own spot right here. Like, I really walked in my door, closed the door, stood in my front door and just looked in my apartment. I was like, and I was like, man, I can start this shit really right here, right now. And really, it ain't no loss because if I don't, 
if I don't get nobody to stay in it, which shit I live here, and I and I got the money to pay for it, so it it really ain't no loss. So I was like, man, fuck it. I, uh, that same day, I uh, went on Airbnb, downloaded the app, uh, started my account and shit, and, and, and then once I did that, took a couple pictures, cleaned up real fast, took a couple pictures, whatever, moved some stuff around. And then uh, after that, man, I set my phone down, and I say probably about an hour later after I got out of the shower, laid down in the bed for the to go to sleep, uh, booking popped up on my phone. And I'm like, damn, okay, somebody booked my shit already. So, so they booked my shit for like, Two days later, so I was like, I bet a couple of days I'm gonna you know, move my shit out. But then, within another five minutes, another lady had booked it, and she booked that bitch for like, she booked it for like, uh, for like a couple of weeks, I think. So I was like, oh shit! So that same night, that same night, I picked up everything I had, my clothes, my shoes, and everything, and just moved out. Told my sister come bring her truck, and I'm and I moved to my parents' house, and told my parents I was like, I was like, you know, I'm gonna be here. Just for a couple of days, whatever, here and there, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I oh, said, so you ain't telling the whole, you ain't telling what's going on. You just like, I'm going to be here a couple of days. Well, nah, it's the thing. I, I told them about the Airbnb business. And they okay. Was like, and they was like, cool. And I told them I'm going to be, you know, in and out. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking the shit ain't really just going to blow like that. I'm going to be, you know, in and out my apartment, blah, 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 blah. But nah, that shit. Nigga, I moved out and never moved back in. Ever since then, that shit was, it was jumping. Oh, okay. It was jumping, yeah. And then after that, after a while, I had a lady. She stayed in my shit for like nine months, so I like never went back after that. Oh man, that's crazy. So man, how did man how how did you feel about uh how how did you feel about going into uh I mean going the taking that leap of faith and just like you got you had somebody for a week, you had somebody for two weeks, and then you had somebody say for to stay there for nine months. Was you surprised or you was like, Oh, this is real now? Man, I was surprised. I was surprised, man, and and, and I'ma tell you, it's it's scary sometimes taking that leap of faith. Especially when you by yourself, man. I'm not for it, sure. You ain't got no business partner. It, it, it's just you. It's scary, man. Let me. Let me I'm um. I'm gonna tell you a story, man. I was uh. I was at church one day, man, and my pastor. He was talking about this story, and he was saying how uh. He was basically saying how Jesus came from the heaven and came down to the earth, and he was like, when he was in heaven, you know, he was you know Jesus, God, God is Jesus, right. So, when he was in heaven, he was big, mighty. He, he had all this power, but when he came to heaven, no, when he came to earth, he had to shrink himself down and give up all his power and, and give up all that God power and um, form himself into a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? In order to do uh, to carry out the mission that he needed to carry out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So basically, that's what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I was thinking about. Um, that made me think about that uh, a while back. My uh, when I when I had went to church, or whatever. That made me think about exactly what I had done. I had to basically, basically, what he was saying was he was like, "You're gonna have to sacrifice something. Like if you really want something, you're gonna have to sacrifice something. Whether it be time, whether it be space, or whatever." And that's and, and it's crazy because he said the same thing that I did. He was like, he was like, he, he was like, you might have to give up that brand new car you just bought. You might have to give up that apartment and move back in with your mama. You might have to uh, uh, give up all your time. And it's crazy because cause, cause in my head, I was like, man, I did that same thing. I had to give up my whole apartment. You know what I mean? You had to give up your comfort. You know yeah. what I'm mean? saying? It was like I had to take a step back in order to take a step forward. So that's what I did. And I was like, man, I did the same thing. I did the same thing Jesus Christ did. You know what I mean? I had to take a step back in order to take a step forward. And um, after I took that leap of faith, man, uh, which was a harder thing, and I never forget because uh, what's that had hit me up? Um, oh, oh, uh, I forgot her name, but she was in our unit because I had posted on Instagram, and uh, she was like, "Man, go ahead, go ahead and do it. Take the leap of faith, whatever it is. Step out on it. Step out on faith." And then shit, that's what I did. And it's my Yuli? Nah, it was it wasn't Yuli, bro. She in the other unit, bro. She still that tall dark skin. Uh, oh, the real, the real. Yeah, she. I'm gonna say, yeah, she be she be on that shit too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the real hit me up, and I had did, and then like the scary part about it is like like that's my apartment. Like everything I own is in it. Well, everything I done bought, I didn't work for. It's all in it. So, nah, for real, you leaving you leaving your comfort zone. Yeah, so whole time I'm thinking like, man, if somebody like what if they steal my shit, steal my TV, break my shit, like I lose everything. But mm-hmm. at that time, I was like, man, fucking, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then another thing is like. The scary part about it is like, man, I'm like, man, if I lose everything, like, like what the fuck I'm gonna do? But 
Man, I went ahead and did it to that leap of faith, man. And shit, that's what it was, so. Nah, man. Uh, man, nah, man, let's congratulate you right now on, you know, taking that leap of faith, you know, doing what you got to do. Because, you know, people don't, people don't really look at it and think about it, but this, you know, it's all material things, like all this shit. It, you know, it could get kidnapped, stolen, whatever. You know, it could burn up, get destroyed. You could always buy it back. You know what I'm saying? But people don't ever think about that concept. You know what I'm saying? As human beings, we hold on to material shit like it's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's something like, like it's real, but it's like something that we just can't live without. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. But you did what you had to do. You made it happen. You know what I'm saying? So shit, let's go into, um, let's go into that. You went through the nine months. You took the leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know you told me that you, you started increasing. You went from one and then you went to a, a got a couple. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's go on into that. Yeah. So the second spot, right? So I'm going to go and say this. The second spot was actually, it was my mama's spot, right? Your and mama's so house? It was, it was my mama's spot. You going to lease out your mama's house? Yeah, but I'm going I'm to tell you, though. So this is when I start to learn that there's multiple ways to get an Airbnb. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to give y'all the game right now, just, just in case y'all don't know. Now y'all pay attention. Free game right here. Free game. So, I'm going to be real with you. You got the legal way. You got the illegal way. Oh, damn. It's an illegal, it's an illegal <laughs> way to do Airbnb? It's an illegal way. Technically, yeah, it is illegal. You know what I mean? But most apartment complexes at the time really weren't tripping on it. You know what I mean? Because it was still kind of, still, it really wasn't just as like big, big, big just yet. So, um, but what happened was basically my mom's. She wanted out of her apartment because a bunch of shit going on. We don't get into it, but there's a bunch of stuff going on. So she wanted out. She didn't want to break a lease, and she right. knew I was doing Airbnb. So that's when she told me. And then, mind you, this spot was literally five minutes from my other ones. It was perfect. So she told me she was like, uh, "I could basically take over. All I gotta do is pay the rent." You know what I mean? Uh, and then I just told her, you know, can you leave at least your bed frame and the couch for me? So she left that. I ain't really had to put no money into it. Um, just bought some small things here. She left a TV for me and everything. So, uh, got that oh, one. So, you had a whole little second setup already without with no cost almost. Yeah, and then see, and that's another thing that I had to learn too is that, you know, when you get in these spots, you might have to negotiate with these people on, you know what I'm saying, what can they leave behind for you? Like, can they leave some TVs? Can they leave. Furniture, you know what I'm saying? Are you taking it from them? Because the but, more stuff is already in there, the less you got to spend money on. And that's smart. When most people move out of apartments, typically, they yeah. throw out things like couches, beds, stuff like that. You know, stuff that's like, it's not really nothing wrong with it, but it's still usable. Yeah, yeah. So, so shit, that's what I did. You know, I had to, like I said, I had the bed, I had the couch, I had um, I had a TV, whatever. Uh, she left... One TV in the living room. The other one I had to go buy another TV. But shit, that was cool. I wanted, I wanted even chipping because I knew the money they was gonna put out. And uh, me and my girl, that's when we spent really. So I eventually came up with a game plan, right? So the game plan was to if I was gonna get an Airbnb, I need to have it up and running in three days, tops max three days. So mm-hmm. I gotta go out. I gotta go buy everything I need for it: bathroom stuff, kitchen stuff, living room stuff, whatever. Decorations, go shopping, get everything back, built, set up, ready to go, and take the pictures and have them running up and running in three days. So for three days, you know, we was running, we was running around like crazy, trying to get everything set up and everything. So, but that's how we did it. We got it set up, took pictures, and just like that first admin be As soon as I posted the picture, that thing started. That thing started. You know what I'm saying? Like clockwork started. Book, 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 book up fast. So, you know what I'm saying? But that one right there, I would say, would probably. Probably my hardest experience on that one, man, because uh, it wasn't it wasn't the best of apartments. So, man, it be times, man. I have my uh, guests. They call me middle of the night. Uh, AC not working, the roof leaking. So I'm, I, you know, what I mean, it's, in the second spot, second spot. Oh, okay, you know what I mean. So sometimes, sometimes, but like I said, but it was just a lesson learned. You right. know what I mean, like you gotta you gotta know. The spots that you choose and make sure that you choose the right one, make sure you choose no bullshit. But I mean, as I was going through this whole thing, everything was a learning process for sure, for sure. Like I won't go just like, you know, I took some L's in it, but it was cool because I learned a lot from it. But uh like like but the money was good though, especially in that second spot. The money was good in that second spot because that one that one was more so like the first one was booked up by that one lady for like a year, I think. Yeah, it was like a year, maybe like 
maybe a little bit longer than a year. So I ain't really have to do none of that. But the second one, that's when I had to do majority of the work because it was all uh, like I was going every other day to clean the spot out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, because it was more frequent. People going in now. Yeah, they were there two, three days at a time, four days at a time, going every day. Cleaning it out, cleaning it out, cleaning it out. Oh, okay, so quick question, man. Did you have a way of uh, vetting these people? Like, just knowing, like, like I'm saying, do you, you had a way of knowing they, uh, doing, like, a background check on these people? Like, 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 how did you evaluate who's going to get in your Airbnb and not? Or did you decline some people? Or, okay, or so. Do a, 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 or, like, first come, first serve type stuff. What was going on? Okay, so the way that I was doing it, right, the way that I was doing it, uh, basically, I let, every, I let Airbnb handle that. Part of it for me. Okay. Uh, but I made it to where you have to have a picture of your ID. You got you got you got to have an actual photo copy of your ID uh, on Airbnb, and you got to uh, not have any um, no parties. First off, that's everybody. No everybody trying to start the parties, y'all. <laughs> yeah, but that's no the, parties, y'all, 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 y'all. Hold up here, y'all know that's why we get the Airbnbs man, to get to throw the party. Cause listen, but. That's what's fucking up the game, man. Not too long ago, I mean, uh, really, probably about a year ago, and this when I was really doing my thing in Airbnb heavy, uh, and this when Airbnb kind of started like going out. This when um, it was a big ass party at a mansion, mm-hmm. and they fucked that whole mansion up. They messed it up, man, and so it kind of like, it kind of, it kind of like fell back on my Airbnb too, cause um, oh, cause it was in the area, yeah, and like, but that's when that's when like uh. Apartments started getting like real stick on on you know what I mean about who was in the apartments and you know what I'm saying every every apartment I was going to when I was trying to find new ones they was like nope no Airbnbs no Airbnbs no Airbnbs they would catch you don't be kicking you out da 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 no Airbnbs no Airbnbs that's when they was really getting hip to the shit mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so but yeah nah it was no parties and now it went for me no parties but and then but 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 you got some people that are still try you best way to the best way to do that man is to like. Get you like a rain camera or some shit. You know what I mean? Have it on the outside so you can see who all coming in. You know what I'm saying? So it's to it's to do it like that. But but nah, that one's bringing in money too. No, nah, so we had a past guest when you know, in the beginning of this part, and uh, she did Airbnb. Yeah. And I know they was I know she was explaining about like no parties, like mm-hmm. every little thing you did wrong, they charge you for it. Like no parties, you got charged for it. You did a party. You were smoking cigarettes in there or whatever you were smoking. You know, you got charged for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, did you go down similar, like, path? Like, once you got uh, to a certain extent, you're like, okay, y'all want to keep playing, I'm just going to charge it, on, charge it to, to y'all account. Yeah, same thing I used to do, man. But at the same time, like, that stuff be kind of hard to do to charge them extra because now it's like you got to have proof. Airbnb wants you to have proof in order for you to charge them that extra. Oh, okay, it's probably a lot of people fighting back on that. Yeah, and it's like, how you going to get proof of them smoking if you're not there and you ain't got cameras in your spot? Yeah. What, what you gonna do a smell test? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, really... Okay, that's that's another good question, right? Because uh, I, I see Airbnbs with cameras on the outside. Mm-hmm. Do they? Is it a? Is it something against the law to have cameras on the inside? You can have cameras on the inside, man. But it's like, it's like okay, if you got, if you a guest and you choosing between two spots, one that got cameras on the inside and one that don't, mm-hmm. you are gonna choose the one that don't because you want more privacy, right? You know what I mean? So it's like. When you when you in competition with all these other Airbnbs that surrounds you, you can't you know what I'm saying you can't be doing. I'm gonna say what they not doing. So you don't want to have cameras in your shit because you want them people to be able to have their privacy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, was you want to walk into an Airbnb and there's a big ass camera just standing at you? You don't know who behind it or what they doing that type of shit. Man, so I ain't gonna like, even lie. I ain't gonna lie. A while back, we all got an Airbnb and um. Uh, they had a camera on the inside, and I know I believe it was one on the outside. You know what I mean? I think it was like one on the backside and the outside. You know, like perimeters. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah. it was like it was like dining room area, and then uh, the uh, backyard and the front yard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what they didn't have none was the bedrooms okay. and like the bathrooms. You know what I'm saying? You know, people get freaky, so we ain't want no. You know, you don't want no freaky shit going on. But I, I'm cool with that because I guess to me in my mind those areas made sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you in the if you're in the, the dining room, I don't feel like you should be doing nothing crazy. But I guess things could happen. Or at the end, that people still want to have parties, so the party gonna happen regardless. So yeah. maybe that's, you know that's what it is. Mm-hmm. But um, I guess I guess you're right on the privacy thing. Cause I'm in my head thinking about like protection. Cause like 
there's a lot of incidents where these Airbnbs come up and people then got hurt. Situation that happened, and you know, people don't got proof in the inside of what you know, what happened, this and that, the other. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure the police go to uh, Airbnbs more often than they go to like regular houses at this point. And then you see the incident that happened on Twitter. Uh, this is a while ago. Uh, it was some um, it was some kids. I think there was kids. Maybe it could have been like adults, but I think there was kids. And they threw a party in the Airbnb that they said no parties. I guess you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. They end up getting into it with the dude because I guess. I don't know if it was the real owner. Or he, he sent the backup, but he sent whoever to go be like, hey, y'all got to get out. Yeah. The Airbnb. Then oh, they slap slapped the shit out of him. I seen Yeah, the little uh, slap, Asian man. Yeah. I said, that yeah, was crazy. Man. Yeah. And I was like, to make his money. And I was, and I was like, like yeah, and I was like, if he would have turned around and just like, you no, know, did something to y'all, he, he, I believe he might have been in the right. Because if, he, if he's contacted by the owner to, to show up there, yeah. I mean, I don't know if he's going to be right. I'm not saying what, what should happen, what happened, but in that instant, I feel like, his life was in danger because you know, anytime you get here, your life in danger. So yeah, you know, sure. if you know, then he did something to them, them people, mm-hmm. then you know, it would have made everything look bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I I did see that, and that was that was crazy for them people to do that, man. Like, and it and they be the kids, like, and that's another thing too. Mine's was age restricted. Oh, okay. I oh, so got age restricted no on Airbnb. Yeah, I wasn't finna deal with no kids. I okay, like, nah, hell no, nah. I ain't finna deal with these kids coming running out of here breaking stuff, messing stuff. But nah, man, you gotta have. Age restriction was was one key thing that I had to have. So, so what's a good start of age for uh, the age restriction? Mines, I think I started mines at uh, twenty. I think it was twenty was was like the uh, youngest. Okay, that make yeah. that makes sense. I guess. Yeah, I mean, like you gotta, yeah, you people know, need man. privacy. Yeah, because kids, man, they mess your stuff up, man. And I seen this one that was on the news uh, a while back. Man, they they trashed the whole thing, and they ain't just do that, man. They broke the TVs on purpose, like. Beat the TVs in, pulled everything off the wall. I mean, just tore the whole place apart. It's like I was like, damn, like, that's that's crazy, man. Like that's no, that's crazy. I don't know why that 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 one don't even make sense. Yeah, but uh, that. you never got into the uh, the traveling nurse pocket because I know a lot of people mm-hmm. were telling me back in the day they got Airbnbs, yeah. but they got them. Uh, they got a lot of them with uh traveling nurses and doctors and stuff. That I don't know because you had to be close to a hospital or something. But I heard they, that, was, that was some good income too. Man. You ran into a couple of them. I did for so for so so man. That right there was like the bread and butter. Like, like once you get a traveling nurse in your spot, you good because they're gonna be the three months, four months, five months, six months. So that was actually in my first spot. I was telling you about earlier mm-hmm. that, that the lady who was in it for like nine months to like a year. Oh, she, she was actually working. Her. Yeah, and she actually so she stayed there for her first contract with me was like I think it was like for like five or six months, and then she hit me up and she was like, "Can I do another contract for another six or seven months?" I was like, "For sure, for sure." Hell yeah, for so. Uh, so, but at that time when she did it, the price had went up too. So the second for customer, Airbnb or you for me, I brought with my price. Oh up. man, so the why you just sweaty like that, man? Because see, I thought I thought that she was finna be out. Like like she literally called me like the day before. The okay, day she was trying to catch and lock day. that price in. Yeah, so and I already I already had raised the price up. So was she cool with the price raise? Yeah, she was cool with it. She paid it, so I was making even more money. The next six months, and then so imagine now you did like an apartment, boy. You, boy, you a cold brother, boy. Yeah, you a cold brother. <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah. It's a new year. Yeah, I need yeah. that hundred dollars extra. Yeah, oh, shit. I'm telling you, man, she was gravy. Like imagine, like you wake up in the morning, you got five, five hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars, thousand, twelve hundred dollars. Hit your account, three thousand. I don't account. know. Made you reconsider your job, huh? Like yeah. I, I, I have to top you to quit. <laughs> yeah, man. Like you ain't gotta do nothing. Just, you just sit back and money just hitting your account, just hitting your account, easy. Man. Easy, so yeah, like so. Um, but that wasn't the only thing. So when I got my third spot, that's when I was like, okay, I want to be able to um, get more nurses and stuff, and, and people who can actually do long time, long term to actually stay in, uh, in my Airbnb. So that's when I wound up getting that third spot. Was actually no, I'm sorry, that was the fourth one. The fourth one was actually that was in a uh, that one was in uh, the medical center. So I'm like, uh, that one's in the medical center. Um, and then so I'm in the medical center, but I'm also close to the NRG. Right, right, right. And this was right before the rodeo uh, oh, okay. was supposed to happen. But I think I think they wound up canceling. Did they cancel that? Was the 2021? They canceled it? Oh, it's about the COVID joint? Yeah, because the COVID, they had canceled. I know they canceled it in 2020. I think 2021, it was canceled too. Yeah, yeah, yeah they canceled 21 because I think 22. No, we in twenty three. Yeah, twenty two. Twenty two was up and running. Yeah, 
Yeah, because they, they canceled it because I remember the Travis Scott thing still went on. Yeah. Because when they canceled the rodeo, they didn't cancel the Travis Scott thing. Yeah. The Astroworld thing. So, yeah, I think that's what was going on. Yeah, so that fourth one I had, that's when I started really getting even more travel nurses coming in, people who were staying long term in that one. And that oh, one so you was happy getting them doctors. You're like, oh, yeah, this is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah different, because different. number one, they're going to respect their spot. Mm-hmm. They're going to keep it clean. They grown, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to be there for a long time. And then another thing that I noticed with them is that they, 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 they like, really big on cleanliness. Mm-hmm. Like they don't, you know what I'm saying, they don't like germs and none of that. So they're going to they gonna keep the spot clean. But, you know, during that time, you know, it was COVID. So, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know if people was trying to be dirty or nothing, but, they, you know, that was a real clean time in the world. So <laughs> yeah, for real. They, they better be clean. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, for real. Yeah, bad. I mean, time. even now, people should be clean, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. Even more now, nah, yeah. For yeah, sure, so, but, after what happens, so, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so now my third spot I got. So how many spots you got up to? Let's get to like the overall number. How many spots you got up to? Uh, I got up to. Uh, I got up to four, four or five. Oh. I was four. I said four. Uh, congratulations, for, man. Yeah. I ain't got to four nothing. <laughs> I done had four different apartments by then. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got the four spots, but now that's now that's that's good that you had the experience. That's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, so these all apartments? All apartments. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you're about to go into your third spot? Mm-hmm. Going into my third spot, yeah. This is, it's going to my spread spot. It's in 2020. We was, we was like mid-2020. What was it, mid-2020? Had to be you. You started from 21, 22, 23. You, you going three years strong. No, nah, yeah, I was, I was from 20, 20 oh, no, all the way to 2022. Yeah, yeah. Strong, yeah. Yeah, so this was... uh. This had to be like an end of, at the end of 21. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah, so this is at the end of 21 when I got this one. Like mm-hmm. mid, well, well, it was like mid July. Right, right. Right, so this, at this point, I ran into my girl, my mm-hmm. girlfriend now. Who now we, we've been dating almost, almost two years now. All right, for sure, for congratulations. But, for sure, for sure. Holding down, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I ran into her. Uh, she going through a situation, wanted out of her spot. She was in Memorial over there. Oh, uh, so you was like the, the fairy spot saver. Yeah, bro. That's, <laughs> you that's, like, yeah, oh, bro. you got a problem? Yeah. Don't worry. You don't want that least more? I yeah, got you. I got you. Like, and, that, and that was the thing for me. It, it was always if uh, I do something for you, if, if, if you do something for me. You don't want to pay it. You don't want to live there. You know what I'm saying? I'll pay it as long as I can do what I want in it. No, you know no, no. That makes sense, though. That was, that's that's a good marketing uh, tactic. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you're helping people that that really need the need. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's not like you going around like say, I, I know you don't want to be here no more. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, so, it's, yeah. It's, it's like once I started doing it, bro. Like people start coming out the woodwork asking me, "Hey, man, can you teach me? Can you show me? Hey, can you can you uh do my apartment? Like, do you want my apartment? Do you want this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like people start coming from everywhere. Yeah. And, and yeah. during that time, people was broke too. You know, what I mean? we was yeah. going through hard times. Yeah, so, so they was over there like, "Hey, you balling? Mm-hmm. Hey, come on!" Yeah, and that's and that's uh, another thing that I learned too about business is, is is that once you finally get out there, people gonna come. People who want to help, people who need your help, they gonna come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're gonna come to you. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna come to you for sure, for sure. So, and that's one thing that happened to me. So after, like I said, after I got that third one, um, that one was really booming. And that's and that's when I had that two bedroom, and that's when I realized like I get a, I got to get on a whole nother level with this shit because that two bedroom made more money than uh, any one of my other ones ever did. Oh, so the ones you had was on these uh, one singles? Bedroom, yeah, singles. Really? Oh, okay. I was still making three three K off that. Oh, you know that, that, that that's good though. Even though there was ones. Mm-hmm. So was it a what wasn't a. I guess it's not a. You didn't have a specified square feet. You just getting them. I was just getting them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as long as they were big enough. And it wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because I started thinking like, okay, these hotel rooms, they ain't just super big. Nice, no, you know small yeah, hotel so, rooms ain't nothing. But you, it yeah. might be in a hotel room. Yeah. So and I'm and I'm like, man, my apartment got way more than a hotel room. Dude. No, for and, sure. And they, and they way bigger than and a hotel even, room. Even even like you go to what, what's this shit called Zaza down the way yeah. downtown or whatever. Uh-huh. They they biggest room. They biggest room kind of like this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so it's like they charge like two thousand yeah, for like a day. You yeah, know what I'm mean? saying? Like, no. Nah. So I'm like, man, I I should be able to charge a good amount. You know what I'm saying? So, but really, I was charging about a hundred dollars a day, sometimes like one twenty, one thirty a day. Uh, but in my two bedroom, I was charging more. 
I was charging like 150, 160 a day. Um and so and then I was uh charging by the guests too. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, how many guests came in? Guests. Uh so now when I was able to fit uh, six guests because it was two in the main room, two in the other room, and then it was two in the living room. You know what I'm saying? So get you like a little uh blow a bed or you could sleep on the couch, two extra people. Boom, no, you know what I'm saying? No, Live more sure, extra sure. money. So and then I was charging a cleaning fee and my cleaning fee was a hundred. So at that time, by that time I already had a person uh who was going by by Airbnbs and was cleaning all my Airbnbs for like for like ninety dollars, fifty dollars. Oh know, dang, man. Man. boom, easy easy money. And this is all before you could look and got your crack here, do that. <laughs> For sure. But even less. <laughs> so, and this is all before I had my LLC. So, I kind of... Oh, so you didn't even start with LLC first. Nah, yeah, I didn't start okay. with LLC first. Like, but now I, you did it the right way, though. Yeah. I, I just learned... I didn't mean to cut you off, but mm-hmm. I learned that, uh, man, any business you're trying to do, get out there and do it first, then start the LLC. Don't start the LLC and you barely making it, not even making nothing out. Yeah, because damn, you got to pay them taxes. Yeah. You got to pay taxes. Yeah, and I, and that's another thing. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, like, if you got a business idea, jump out there immediately and do the shit. Because yeah. what a lot of people do, they start they they get a business idea and they sit on it and sit on it and sit on it and they be like, oh, I got to study, I got to study, I got to learn it first, I got to do this first, I got to learn first, and then before you know it, five six months go by and you ain't did nothing. At all. So sometimes you just gotta just have faith and just jump out there. You gotta be like Nike, it. just do it. Yeah, <laughs> just and just start it. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I just jumped out there and just uh, started it. Nah, for sure, for sure. Yep. But let's take this quick commercial break because I'm not getting paid for it. <laughs> What's up? This is your boy Five Two from the Crack in the '80s podcast, and you're now listening to Braggadocious with Boomy Trail Figure. Cheer! Crack! Crack! What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Nino. I just dropped my single Bloodline, and now you're listening to Braggadocious Podcast. Braggadocious. <laughs> yo, 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 we back, we back, we back in the building. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, for sure, boy, you you doing it off the muscle, for sure. Yeah. And I, like I was saying, that yeah, you got to get the LLC. I mean, you, you don't got to get the LLC, but start to do the business first. Do it first, then get the LLC, because then you'll save yourself some headache, and then the business will be going. You know what I'm saying? Because... Nobody know. Even you got to do, like, you know, the cheapest thing, bend his ass, do that. But just once you get off the ground and it's really rolling, get the LLC for sure, protect yourself. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So, so yeah, so, I mean, back into that third Airbnb, man. So, once I got that one right, uh, first month, I made 6000 off of it. First month. Damn, first 6, month, 6000 6, 6000 off of it. Second month, so... The first one, so me and my girl. I might have said have called you for this one, shit. You could have had this studio <laughs> yeah. space. Me and my girl, we actually came up with a. Uh, you want to come back to the game? I go. I revoked this shit now. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to it for sure. For sure. <laughs> no. It ain't no. I'm gonna come back to it, man. But this time, when I, when I come back, I'm gonna come back hard. You okay, okay. But me and my girl, we had a we had a plan. The first month, uh, oh, you the upgrading got a partner in this. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. The first month profit was gonna be hers. Okay, so I was taking over. The first month profit was gonna be hers. So, well, most of the profit went to her. Some of it did go to me, but most of the profit went to her. Okay, now that's real. That's real. I respect that. Mm-hmm. And then, so <laughs> after that, everything else was mine. You know what I'm saying? But that's when, like, after that, it got even better mm-hmm. because Airbnb uh, hit me up, and I'm pretty sure they they uh they hit up a lot of people. But you remember and. Oh, you time. talking about the Airbnb hit you up and they was actually like paying yeah. you, like Airbnb was paying you, not Airbnb the not the Airbnb. not the tennis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you talking about that? And that shit, that was that shit was green. That, that's when um uh all the Middle Eastern folks came from Middle Eastern on that plane, and I guess they wanted to like Airbnb wanted to help them out and give them a place to stay. So they so Airbnb hit me up and was like, you know. My place is the right fit. It's a two bedroom. It's the right fit, and they, you know, they were saying I can, I can charge whatever I wanted to charge, and they gonna pay it, and it doesn't even matter. Um, I would have went crazy. Come don't come. So, <laughs> I would have went crazy. So, so, I would have been three thousand a yeah. day. <laughs> they be like, get him out of here. Yeah. They would send me to the cloud a little quick. So we revoke. We don't, don't even worry about it. Yeah, man. So, so that's what I did. I was like, I'm in, in my head. I was like, man, these people. 
they ain't gonna really pay me what I'm asking. But let me let me see. So I think I put, I think I put uh, I must have put like two fifty three hundred a day, just to see if they were gonna bite on it. And they bit on that motherfucker. Well, I would put three hundred. I would put three hundred, <laughs> three fifty yeah. a day. I remember, hey, I, hey, I, I went. I'm, I'm bad. They gave me that email. The moment been four, five hundred. Yeah, so. they been mad at me. Hey, he got to go. <laughs> Send him back. So that month, that month, and mind you, the people never showed up. For real, they never showed up. But I still got paid. Oh, that's crazy. Like, like the somebody month. was there. Yeah. So I got another question. So what if you would have had somebody there? I don't know. You couldn't have nobody there. No, no, because they, cause they, they held on to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But what I did though, um, because I was because I was using Airbnb and I was using um, uh, it's it's another uh, website like Airbnb. I can't. I, I forgot like Vero or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. Vero or something. I don't know. It's it's talking to V. Yeah, so I was I was using that and that. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you actually used another service? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when I was using that service, somebody did book. I had a few people book the spot through that. So I was still making money from Airbnb for that so, full month and making money off them too. So like quick so. question: You think, and I know my apartment is hip to Airbnb. You think they hip to the other uh, websites like the, you know the, the V app and the oh other? yeah 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 for sure for sure man I mean when I was going around to these apartment complexes, a lot of them was telling me like they now have a person. I know we got investigators over here. Yeah, they go like look online to see if you put your stuff up up, up on there. Yeah, like like now. A lot of these people now have people who all they do is sit behind a computer and go on Airbnb. They got cybersecurity specialists. Yeah. <laughs> and search and make sure ain't none of their places on there. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I, I get it, though, because um, if you look at in this apartment system, mm-hmm. like what's called Gray Star or Gray Star. Not this Gray Star. Gray, Gray Star. Star yeah. They got a lot of properties yeah. in Texas. Yeah. And you you would think they'd be... They kind of confined in one place, but they uh-huh. they do some illusion stuff because like they be under one name and they be kind of under yeah. other, other names. Cause I didn't I didn't seen some stuff, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, Great Star, that's actually the one you got to watch out for. Anything with Great Star, just stay away from it because they going they gonna find out. <laughs> but they the cheapest though. Yeah, it, they, they, they they be low balling. Yeah, anything with Great Star, man, I always stay away from them. But um, but see, also, it's really based off. Who's downstairs in their front office? Because a lot of them folks really, they don't care. The ones who working, they don't care. As long as you keep your spot nice, quiet, peaceful, you know what I mean? Tennis ain't messing everything up, you know what I mean? They don't hear about it, they not going to trip. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I, cause I, like, every apartment uh, complex that I was going to when I was trying to get new ones, like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's pretty much they, uh, what they was telling me. Like, And I always try to make sure that I... Went to one that had uh, women in it, so I can kind of like flirt a little bit, talk. You know what I mean? Kind of like, you know what I mean? Kind of like work your work, work your salesmanship. Yeah, you know, you're a true salesman. I, yeah. I can tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what they probably think you out here spending game, but you just you a salesman. You out here trying yeah. to get it. Or sometimes it's like I tell them, you know, I put some money in your pocket every month. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As long as you keep it quiet. Okay. Between you was making relationships. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, the real friend yeah. of the hood, yeah. man. You worse <laughs> than Snowfall. Hey, <laughs> I mean, man, yeah, that's for crazy. Sure, for sure. So, like, most of them folks ain't cut. Especially in my fourth one, you know what I'm saying? All I did was keep that quiet. And really, my fourth one was probably the best one because they were going to give me multiple apartments. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, so. But now, you had to keep it quiet? Yeah, so now, this, this is where having your LLC come into place where it's like, this is where business was supposed to jump out. Mm-hmm. So me getting my LLC in place and everything like that, and they were telling me, they basically telling me, uh, uh, you know what I mean, once I told them, because I told them, I was like, yeah, I got my LLC, you know what I mean, I'm legit business, and uh, uh, who I'll be helping out. I told them that my clientele was was, was like nurses that's coming into town. Uh, I take care of nurses and lawyers and doctors and stuff uh, that – Come in the town that uh, need a place to stay. And so they was like, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, how, many, uh, how many apartments do you need? They were like, we could give you up to like five or six at a time. Okay. You know what I mean? But that's like time, every year? No, nah, but yeah. So, okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll give me like a contract for like, you know what I mean, for like five or six apartments in there one at a time. And I was like, damn. At the time, I was like, hold on, I got I to gotta get more money so I'll be able to Furnish all these places, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So at the time, I just started off with one, 
right there in the medical center. I um, started out with that one uh, man, that one right there. So you would have started off with five. They would have just. They really would have fucked with you. Huh? I mean, nah. I mean, so they didn't. They didn't care about Airbnbs. Everybody in the front office that I was talking to did not care if if I turned that thing into Airbnb or not. Oh, okay. You know they just saying? cared about yeah. it being the same. Yeah, the, the only people that cared was their actual office, like their actual. Oh, but, the real office, the people. Yeah, but they the were like, but they were based in Dallas. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So, but everybody in front, they was just like, man, they was like, man, you do what you want. You know what I mean? As long as you keep it quiet and on the low. Uh, all they wanted to do was get the apartment filled up. That's all they wanted. Right. You know what I mean? So They probably get that commission and stuff or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so I just didn't have, I just didn't have uh, all the bread I needed to furnish all of them, man. Right, but, right. Um, but shit, I'm gonna tell you one thing too, uh, uh, to do, because it's it's a couple different ways that you can furnish your apartment. You know what I mean? So you can go and spend six, seven thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars, furnish your apartment, getting everything brand new and this and that, uh, which is cool. But most people. Most people ain't got six, seven thousand dollars to just spend right off the bat. Right, right, right. So what I did was my favorite place was Facebook Marketplace. Right, offer up, a uh, whole up. Yeah, all the little scratch and dent spots, all the mom and pop spots. I actually, found this one spot, man. This lady and I probably shouldn't be saying, that, but I'm gonna say it anyway. She gave me the hookup on on everything, man. She got this spot. She got this spot that's in this uh. It's in this um mobile home. Like all like, lamps, I'm talking about tables, chairs, um, uh beds, everything you need, and it's all brand new. I don't, I don't know if she uh, somebody she know this uh Hispanic lady hit a truck or whatever, but everything in it was brand new. But I could only I could only come over there at nighttime to pick up the stuff that I needed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so she was she was selling stuff on the low. Selling shit on the low, oh, man, okay. But everything was brand new. And I know it brand new because a lot of that shit still had tags on and it's still wrapped up, you know what I mean? No scratch, like, no dents, no nothing. Yeah, no, no nothing. Brand new, but she was selling everything for the low, so I was getting everything that I needed from her. But the only the only problem was that is that, you know, when it's time to get your LLC, um, you know, you gotta have uh, when it's time to get your LLC and it's time to find your taxes. Now you post to keep all your receipts. You know what I mean? Everything you spent on. Yeah, everything you spent. You know what I mean? So, you know, your taxes won't be just fucked up. But me, I didn't have all that. But one of the things that I, like I said, I jumped into and didn't know about it. But I wasn't even tripping because um, I still just had to just kind of put some numbers together. Uh, lady hit me out. You know, my tax lady hit me out, whatever. Uh, whenever I did get my LLC and everything, and had everything rock and rolling. And she hit me up. Uh, she helped me out and had me set up um, an actual uh, thing on Google to actually track everything. All uh, my expenses. And everything. Oh, yeah, spreadsheet, Google yeah. spreadsheet, yeah, spreadsheet uh, to track everything like that. So, um, and she told me, you know, next time I come around, I gotta make sure that uh, I have my receipts and everything is logged in, paperwork and everything like that. So, uh, and that's when I started doing. Once I did get my LLC, is uh, actually. Going the right way and do it, but when you first starting off, it's okay to start off like that. You know what I mean? Hustling to getting whatever kind of stuff that you can get, get it from a low, mm-hmm. get it used, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, just do what you got to do to start making a profit. And then we. I'm pretty sure most time you refinancing the money back into the business anyway. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah, for sure, so so yeah, just keep on doing like that until you could actually build up and have enough money to actually do things the right way and be able to afford to pay taxes and. Do you have to yeah, use your credit all at all? Uh, uh, nah. When I first started off, nah, uh, uh-uh. uh, I didn't use my credit at all. But when I did want to start using my credit, that's when I started really just having to sit down and learn about credit and uh, tax and everything, and learn uh learn about net thirty accounts, net sixty accounts, net ninety accounts, stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, building the business credit. Yeah, yeah. I personally had no business credit on. Not none. Oh, and that's the thing. So when you when you when you First starting off that LLC, you know, you got to get that business credit before you can get any type of loans and anything like that. It's when I was learning, you know what I mean? Like, you really got to um, you gotta get that business credit up. And so that's when I was trying to get my business credit up, uh, and I was trying to find a way to work without Airbnb. 
Cause, because in my head, I'm thinking, man, if Airbnb ever goes down or not working or whatever, I don't want my business to be just shut down completely. And so I started working outside of Airbnb, really getting connection with hospitals and getting connection with lawyers. So that way, all they have to do is call me. I don't have to go through Airbnb, which means I don't have to share any money with Airbnb. Oh, so you're doing outside of that. You're like, hold on, yeah. I'm, I'm outside of this. Yeah, yeah, just call me. We'll set it up. You know what I mean? Blah, 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 blah. blah. That makes so, sense, though. Mm-hmm. Why well, do it through them when you can you know, get yeah. it straight to you? Yeah, and I think um, this was in uh, 2021. I took my first vacation ever. What? To where? Yeah. Went to South Padre Island. Um, yeah. you can't do that in Texas. Yeah, in Texas. Oh, okay. My same man. That's a college yeah. That's a college me. Now I give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I had to think about it real quick. I'm like, man, how look? You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, but so, but man, for me, but it was everything. Like, cause me and my girl had went out there, and uh, honestly though, we probably would have went further had we planned it. But it was really like a spare the moment thing. It was just a weekend. We was free. She ain't had nothing to do. I ain't had nothing to do. And uh, I called her and I was like, I was like, shit, babe, you want to go out of town or something? Like, we ain't got to do nothing big. We can go somewhere small, whatever. She like, yeah, shit, so, so, so. Came home that same day, booked the Airbnb out there in South Padre, man. Uh, went out there for the weekend. And, uh, man, this is when I realized, like, this is when I realized how small I was doing it in the Airbnb game. When I went out there Because Sorry oh, Padre Since some new shit huh? Man So this Airbnb That I went to Man They were doing houses And this is This is this is when I started Really He went from apartments To houses Yeah <laughs> My rich friends So Look at my rich friends So When I went out there Uh huh Um When I went out there And we got that Airbnb Man I'm like Man how these folks How these folks doing it These folks had It was like 12 or 14 Houses in a community, uh, right off like the little, they brought a community. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it was yeah, it, it was it was like a little community of like twelve houses. Airbnb or just random people bought no, a house. No, it it was a it was it was a company that worked through Airbnb. Oh, okay, so they had twelve houses, uh, twelve fourteen houses in that community, and each one of them was an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. And they charged, I they charged me like I think I paid like three hundred a day to stay. You know what I mean? I was like, damn, I'm I'm sitting there charging a hundred dollars a day. These folks charging three, four hundred dollars a day. And um uh, that weekend alone, I think I made a pay eight hundred dollars just for three days. And I'm like, man, in order for uh, me to make eight hundred dollars, I gotta uh charge that's that's like that's eight days for me. Right, right. So and that's when I realized I was like, man, I gotta step my game up. So once I Research the company name. Uh, I forgot the company name, but this company, the, these people got Airbnbs worldwide. Like they got uh, Airbnbs on every uh, uh, islands. They got them on every fucking uh, shore, all in Galveston, South Padre, North Padre, L.A., Miami, New York. They in Africa. They in Egypt. They got hundreds and hundreds oh, of man. Airbnbs, bro, around the world. You found the Airbnb conglomerate. <laughs> yeah, and that's when I realized I was like, man, I'm on a small level doing this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I was able to talk to somebody about um, because some of the houses that they had down there, like they'll like sell them, kind of sort of, or, or they'll like. Lease them out, and you can Airbnb. Mm-hmm. So I was talking to a lady down there, and she was like, yeah, whenever you're ready, because I showed her my profile and what I do at Airbnb. And she was like, oh, yeah, bet. You'll be a perfect person to, to start here if you want. She was like, whenever you're ready, you can always come back, lease here with us, and you can have your Airbnb here. And then on top of that, I'll never have to go down there and like clean up anything because that whole community, the company – has people who uh, actually live down there, and they actually got a, um, I forgot what you call it, but basically they come clean, they cut your grass for you, change the seats for you, do all that for you. You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is lease it out, manage it on Airbnb. Uh, so she, she was like, she was like, whenever you're ready, just come back down there, and we can get you situated. Oh, man, it's crazy. So, um, and then another thing, too, is that uh, down in South Padre, I think it's something like, 88% of the um, properties down there are all rental units. 
You know what I mean? Uh, they all rental like Airbnb type shit where you can actually go down there. And people don't. A lot of people actually don't live on the island. Cause I was I was talking to a girl down there, and uh, she actually lived down there. But she was like, all the rich people actually own uh, property on the island, and these are all vacation homes. And she was like, all the poor people we, we actually stay on the mainland, but we work on the island. You know what I mean? She was like, uh, she was like. 88% of all these properties are just vacation properties. All these people do is just rent them out for a uh, vacation. That makes sense, though. Yeah. And it's an island, you know, too. Like, yeah. And that shit right there was eye open, man. I was like, and that's, in, that's, go that's our project, right? That's our project. Yeah, you know, Galveston like that, too. Yeah. You know, Galveston, like, mm-hmm. it's kind of weird, but, you know, based on, like, closer to the water, mm-hmm. it's, like, not really the people, people. Yeah. But, you know? Yeah, so that's what I was like, man, I got to go bigger. I got to go, I got to go bigger. And so, uh, but she was like, the next place to hit up would probably be North Padre, because that that's still kind of in development. Still, like, it's not really too many uh, properties out there. So, once I do get started, that's why I plan on going back to North Padre, and I'm going for houses this time. I'm going for houses this time. You know, why you talking about houses? You know, good question. Uh, you know, Houston been developing a lot. And gentrifying a lot and changing stuff up. You ain't seen no uh, opportunities around uh, just the Houston area, north south, north south side area, or you know west side or what you know the see like the like houses in particular because they built on a lot of new properties, especially on the south side. Since I built here mainly, yeah. it's a lot of new properties. I know they did the north side a, a while back, and they still building new houses out there too. You uh you you been looking at any of those? Anything yeah. close to downtown and stuff? What's up, what's up, man? So when I was doing, when I was doing Airbnbs in Houston, man, I was doing what they call driving for dollars. Driving for dollars, and when you just drive around and look at different properties, search them up, um, and try to, you know, what I mean, you, and you, you know, you try to get those properties, acquire those properties, you know what I mean, to do Airbnbs with it. Right, right. Driving for dollars. So I was doing that, and I was driving around to a lot of these new places, small places. Um, the only thing that make it hard. And this is and this is why it's a good thing to actually get your real estate license, mm-hmm. right? Because <clears throat> the only thing that made it hard is that I don't get to talk straight to the landlord, and sometimes it can be hard. And I'm sorry to the owner, and sometimes it can be uh, hard to find the owner of the house because they don't live in Texas. Sometimes they don't live in Texas. They don't have any numbers, and, and sometimes, uh, most of the times, they'll make it to where you can only. Uh, get in touch with the real estate agent, or you can only get in touch with the property manager. So it's like I'm talking to the real estate agent, trying to get them to go, you know what I mean, conversate with them and let me do Airbnb in a place. But, like I said, with all that was happening with Airbnb and, and those kids, um, it's, it's you know the ecosystem. I mean? Yeah, it's kind of messing up the system. People hearing uh, bad things about Airbnb. So a lot of these uh, owners... Um, of the uh, you know of the houses and shit just wasn't trying to do that. They was like, nah, I don't want that in my Airbnb. You know, I, I don't want Airbnbs to happen in my property. Nah, 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 nah. So it can be kind of hard, man, when you're trying to um, when you're trying to do it that way. Uh, a good way to do it is to actually buy your own crib. You know what I mean? But you, but you got people nowadays, man. They buying like these little sheds. Are you seeing that? Like. like like they buying sheds and they'll go buy like some land and they'll buy like these big ass like barns, you know what I mean? That's like 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 you can go to Home Depot and get you like a barn for like eight, nine hundred dollars or some shit, like a thousand dollars. And they'll go buy some land like in the country area, they'll get like six or seven of them, you know what I mean? And uh just like put a bed in uh, a little fucking uh oh, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's stop here. They going to the country. Yeah. Pitch black, no lights. The clan might be still out there. <laughs> and you telling me they going to the barn? Mm-hmm. They getting the barn and gutting it out and turning it into a house? Mm-hmm. Turning it into like a little smaller home. In a, in a shed? Yep. That's how they doing it, man. And they just post them all on Airbnb. And, and, and then the good thing about it is like you ain't paying no type of uh, uh, rent. Are you doing this plan? Because think about it. Most of them. They already been paid off the, uh, the, the land whole, been paid off. Yeah, yeah, you and, know what and I mean? the property paid off. All this stuff. Yeah, the property, everything paid off. So all you doing is paying for 
lights, water, and gas. And then if you got a well that actually runs to the house, now you're not paying for water because you got a well. So now you're paying for what, lights and water. Everything else is just uh, straight with cleaning fees. You got to pay if you got somebody coming to clean it, and everything else is in your pocket. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, people... People doing it that way, that's a good way to do it. I thought about doing that shit too. That's crazy. Oh, that people buy like renting out properties, Airbnbs in the jungle. <laughs> they, they doing it, man. Yeah. Oh, they gotta be possible, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, man. If you if you go, um matter of fact, it's this um uh, it's this uh T V show on Netflix. I forgot what it was called, man. Uh but the Tiny my... Home Show? Not a tiny home show. No, no it's not a tiny home. It's oh. these it's these uh three people that actually go and uh Visit some of the craziest Airbnb homes around the world. Like, imagine having that job with a TV show pay you to travel around the world and look at these crazy Airbnbs. And, like, some of these things, like, most of them be in the jungle or they be uh, somewhere in the middle of the fucking ocean or some shit or be Africa. They be just traveling to the craziest Airbnbs, whatever. But a lot of them do be in the jungle. Like, some of the be in the jungle of Mexico, but I don't know about that. I don't know if I go to the jungle of Mexico. I'm good. Oh no! Nah, after what's going on right now, y'all better yeah. well, y'all, y'all better stay y'all black hand from Mexico. <laughs> yeah, you stay good. away. Yeah, man. Stay I'm away. Good. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going down there, but that, hey, it ain't worth it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But shit, man, we we talked enough about Airbnbs and stuff. I know you talking about credit, you know, and we talked about the LLCs. What you uh, what's what's your involvement with this credit this credit system in and yeah, man. And uh, what, what can you do for the people, man? So, no, man, you're saving the hood right now. We need you to save the hood. Some more. <laughs> save the hood. So, credit is something, man, I'm still learning. It's still a learning process for me. But where I started from, man, I just, um, so uh, I'm going to take you back to high school, right? So I had you had credit in high school? Nah, nah. But I'm going I'm to I'm 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 tell you what changed my mindset. Okay, let's hear it. So, my accountant teacher Dude named Mr. Hardy. I never forget. I was in the 10th grade, and I was in his class one day, and we was in the back of class, and he came up to me and, and he asked me, you know, what I wanted to do in life, you know. Hey, I would hit uh, you that question. What you want to do in life? Yeah, you know, I told him. I say, uh, man, I want to play football. And he was like, okay, well, what if football don't work out? And I was like, man, you know, oh, shit, I, I'm gonna go to college and get a degree. He was like, in what? I was like, I don't know. And he was like, he was like, okay, what's two things that you that you really love. I told him, you know, I, I love football and I love money. Right? And so, and that one, uh, he was telling me, he was like, man, you're going to be an accountant for football players or you can be an agent or whatever for a football player or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, but it was one thing that he told me that I never forgot. He asked me, he say, uh, he say, um, he say, you got both parents in your life? I said, yeah, mom, dad, whatever. He say, um, he said, uh, uh What's your mama do? I said, she's a nurse assistant. He said, what's your dad do? I said, he work at Paradise Funeral Home. He said, okay, um, is your mom, uh, what's the highest level of education she got? I was like, well, she went to a, a two-year like community college or something like that. And he was like, what's your dad? He was like, was like what about your dad? I said, my dad dropped out in the ninth grade. Mm-hmm. And so he was, like, he was like, man, I'm going to tell you the truth. And he was like, I'm going to get mad when I say this. But he was like, your mom and dad, yo, he was like, well, he was like, your dad would never be able to teach you anything past a ninth grade education. He was like, your mom would never be able to teach you anything outside of going to community college. She'll never be able to teach you anything about uh, anything um, outside of being a nurse. Your dad would never be able to teach you anything outside of working at Paradise Funeral Home. Right. He was like, it's going to be up to you to teach yourself. Uh, everything that you possibly can, because he was like, and then he was like, you know, you know, how's they credit and shit and all that. And I was like, man, I, I don't know, but you know what I mean. But but that's when I really started from that age on. That's when I really just started shifting, just like shifting. Was like, man, I got to learn everything on my own, cause like, you know, my mom, my dad, and them credit ain't ain't really just a one. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't never really just bought houses and cars and did all this. So I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta learn this shit on my own. Shit, the school ain't teaching it. And so from that point on, I started reading books, man, after books, after books, Google, YouTube, everything, man. And just started uh doing it like that. And so and that's how I really started getting into credit and then um my first credit card, 
I blew that shit. I think we all. I think we all did that <laughs> yeah, shit. I blew that shit. It was. It was like. I think it was like for a thousand dollars. I spent that thousand dollars. Never paid that shit back. And you had that much. I blew five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can't yeah, get it back. Never paid that shit back. And then my credit was like, after that, my shit dropped like a four fifty. You know. Uh, so when it dropped, my shit was bad for like two years, two three years. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, I can't. Like, I can't do nothing right now. I can't get a car. I can't do, I, you know what I mean? I can't do shit. Like, every time I get an apartment, they saying, oh, you got to pay extra money in order to get an apartment. I got to pay $1,000, $2,000 to get an apartment. I'm like, man, I can't keep, you know what I mean? So, after a while, man, I went down to, um, it's when I went down to Barnes & Nobles and got a book. Because I, I kept I kept calling these companies trying to see, you know, how much it's going to cost to pay. These companies, you know, they're going to charge $500, $600, $900, $800. I'm, they're going to charge you everything with interest. Yeah, I'm like 19, 20 years old. I ain't, I'm, I'm working at Waterbreak. I ain't got no money to pay like that now. Nah, I ain't paying it at all. Like, yeah, yeah. you crazy. So, shit, I, uh, that's, that's why I went and got that book, uh, How to Build Your Credit for, for Dummies. I ain't going to lie. Nah, but, sure. <laughs> it was one of them dummies, but I got that book, read that book, learned the ins and out of it, man, and started building my credit, building my credit, and building my credit. And uh, that's when I was getting credit cards, man. Um, just learning about all that, man. And now, you know, now credit is 740, 760, 780. You know what I mean? So that shit's very important, man. Very oh, no, important. no. Credit is important. I just, the only thing I, I don't like about credit is that uh, you're not, you're not, if your family not really messing with it, you don't know. Yeah, so. And then, yeah. and then when you do into the world, got to do all this extra shit, now you find out this shit is important. Mm-hmm. Cause we, cause we be on some shit like oh, I got a cell phone, I got a car note, yeah. I got a little shit that's supposed to be on my credit. But you realize that shit not really doing nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's something they doing in the system that's making these credit cards like so powerful. Where it's like mm-hmm. you get the credit card, like I got, like I said, I got some now, and I pay them off and on all the time. You see it jump up mm-hmm. and then drop down like a little bit, but it jump, it'll jump the fuck up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, another thing I used to do, man, with my with with, with mines, I used to sell my trade lines. So that's another oh, thing. Oh, man, are you are you balling? Oh man, you yeah. selling, selling trade lines? I can't do that. That's another thing, man. Just to be able to sell. I your probably trade could. Line. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you probably could, man. Sell your trade lines. Like I would put people on my credit cards and shit like that for. So what you doing? Put them as a like joint uh, owners on the card or something? Yeah, nah, don't do that because then they gonna spin your shit up. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, I was gonna say how it work. The trade so, lines work. Okay, so basically, all you do is you put them on there as a user. But see, that was that was that was like a couple of years ago. The shit didn't kind of change now. Yeah, it changed. It changed yeah. some more right after COVID too. That's yeah. what like because like I don't know if you know this, but if you had hospital bills, a lot of them came back recently. Yeah, because they put this new clause in places. In places, if you don't, uh, you got to pay your hospital bills now. Yeah. Like they, you yeah. can't put them on. You can't let them just be on your credit, and then they evaporate in five, six years. You know what yeah, man? yeah, that shit, that shit, that crazy. But yeah, so selling my trade lines, man, I was selling for like five, six hundred dollars a pop. Damn, um, this this was this monthly, weekly. Uh, really, honestly, I would do like one time fee, or or it might be a thousand dollars a pop, depending on um which credit card I was putting you on. But it yeah, I need the sauce for this. Give me the number. I'm about to, yeah. I know my credit good. I yeah, need it so, all. Yeah, so all you had to do is pretty much, man. Get some people who got bad credit who want to get their credit fixed. Put them on there as a user. They don't get a card. I mean, they can get a card if you want to give them another one. But don't you know, give them a no card. Don't give them a card. Nah. Don't give them a card. All they do is get your history. And mm-hmm. once they get your history, normally it takes I think like four or five, six months. That's how. That's how normally. So keep them on there for about that long. You know what I mean? And um, some credit cards you can you can put up to like five people on there. Uh, business credit cards. You can actually put a lot more people on the business credit card because a lot of them... Uh, it could be like employees credit, and stuff, right? Yeah, but yeah, so the business credit card, they'll let you put like 10 people on there, 15 people on there. Oh, so, man, that's crazy. Yeah, imagine imagine being able to charge people, 15 people, $1,000. That's $15,000 you just made just by putting their name on your credit card. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was I was uh, selling my trade lines at one point. That was, that was a while back. You know what I mean? So... But yeah, that's that's when I was really just really on my credit credit thing. So now, now while I'm at man, after doing all this Airbnb stuff and learning all this stuff, man, I'm um I'm jumping into this trucking business, man. Okay, so yeah, you gravitated toward trucking now. Now you in trucking? Uh-huh. That's the next thing. So just starting off in and got my CDL. I, I really got everything I need 
to really start my own business. The only thing I don't have is just the experience. I got, well, military experience if you count it. But that's um, a whole lot of experience. All that yeah. free drawing they make us do. <laughs> For real, though. So I got to get the experience, man. And I'm finna just stack up a little more money. And then after that, get a truck and trailer. Uh, the goal is to put somebody else in it, of course, and get, you know, as many as I can and put other people in it and let them, uh, let them drive and make me money. So that's where I'm at now. So you, know, you start from ground zero with that, for sure, for sure. Yeah, starting from ground zero. Now, most definitely go to the you know, heart of a hustler. And then, you know, uh, Marlon, yeah. Houston on the podcast, They, they got, we got two past episodes of talking about truck driving. For sure. So, yeah. um, you know, Juba Cafe, he say um, start off with 20K. Yeah. At least have 20K in savings yeah. before you hop out there and uh, start the truck driving business. So that would be some good episodes to reflect on and listen to. Yeah, I was, mm-hmm. I was, man, I was like, like I said, I was listening to one of them, man, not too long ago. That was a guy you talking about, Francisco. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Marlon right there, yeah, Marlon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I think I might listen like half of the episode. I ain't, I ain't get a chance to finish it, but I'm going to go back. And yeah, yeah, see, the good thing with, the good thing with Marlon is he worked uh, for Cisco, and he worked for a bunch of, he worked for Cisco and a couple more companies, and then he went over the road, and he came back, you know, and now he's doing his thing with another company. So he got a lot of, uh, he got a lot of, uh, Work experience with companies, yeah. and then heart of a hustler. Uh, he has more experience of coming out the gate, saving his money, mm-hmm. and then coming out the gate and doing it by himself. You know, he, you know, he. They all around our age, yeah. so they're not. And these are not old people at all. They really, you know, young men. And it, uh, and it's it's good that they doing these things and they inspiring people like you, me, yeah. and I to, to come out here and hustling because you don't got you don't got to be out here selling drugs or anything like that. You, you know, it's yeah. other ways to go out here and get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. The term. The term being a hustler, the grinding changed you know, a long time ago. Because if you was if you was hustling and grinding back in the day, yeah, you was selling drugs. Nah, yeah, now nah, for term, sure, for sure. Yeah, the term now it changed, man. Nah, it changed because when changed. I said this, the big change for me when it came when it comes to like the terminology of that, uh, COVID, the pandemic, all that is just like I always had the mindset like this: Why would I? Why would I? Why would I pick up dope right mm-hmm. to sell to sell and then be on the corner? Selling dope, mm-hmm. where the police gonna know my face. They are gonna know what I'm doing. Come to stand out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then they gonna come get me. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't make it don't make logical sense when you come out here and do business yeah. like legitimately. And and like even these guys, like these gurus on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I take everything with a grain of salt, but like but half the stuff they say be like legit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got you get business loans up to like fifty k, no hundred k stuff. As long as you do it right, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's just about how you roll the dice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah and, that's, and that's, man, that's important too, man. I mean, because these people put out all types of content on YouTube and, you know what I'm saying? For it's you, a lot of free game. Business. Yeah, it's a lot of free game, man. But one thing I would say, and I'm going to leave y'all with this, man, is uh, make sure you do your homework on what they saying. Oh, yeah, because you got to back check. People, yeah, a lot of people be, be putting out... Stuff that's just false. It's not true. You know, come, come get your head locked up. Yeah, it ain't be. You know it, I ain't gonna say it's false, false. It be it, it be false, but at a lot of times it be scams. Yes, yeah, scams. It, it be like legal. It be like it be like legal scams. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, what's that dude name? Him five hundred. I know he. A, I know he popular for doing like. Yeah. I don't want to say like legal scams, but he runs a business where he teach you how to run the credit up and get in and use a bunch of loopholes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let's say loopholes. Loopholes, not scams, but a bunch of loopholes to get to be in your favor. Because at the end of the day, a lot of y'all be lying on the applications. Y'all lie, y'all lie on your credit applications. Y'all make 60, 60 bands. <laughs> and, y'all not, will, yeah. and, and y'all not making 60 bands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just be true, truthful about it. You know what I'm saying? But it's how you take the information and apply it to your life. Yeah, now, you out here like past the uh, Whitehead <laughs> with, with Louis Vuitton suits, uh, Gucci suits and stuff. Yeah, and you, you heard what he did recently? What was that? Man, he he got a loan mm-hmm. to get a mansion, but the the the, uh, the police did some investigation or the FBI did some investigation. Somebody did some investigation, and he had a business bank account with ten dollars in it, but somehow did some type of paperwork and got a loan to cover the uh, the mansion. You know, mansions ain't cheap, mm-hmm. so he got the money. To, he got the loan to cover the mansion, and that's how they pretty much. That's how he got caught up in some shit. So pretty much he did some shit to to get what he needed to get, and he got it. And now he now he further down messed up with the police because now they like, oh, we discovered this stuff you just did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the stuff you do in the dark will come to light. So don't y'all remember that? It will come to light. 
Yeah, one day or another. Yeah, they got a. Uh, I don't know if you know uh, O and B Hellcat. Who? It's a, it's a, oh, oh, me in the Hellcat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought Hellcat. you were saying like it's like a, three lyric, three lead off the mouth. I think it's like OMB. You was like, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, nah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, me in the Hellcat. Yeah. Yeah, they got that man. Uh, his, I want to say his his case just closed. I'm not mistaken. He 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 finna have to do. I think what, I think it was seven years or some shit. He gotta go do. Yeah, yeah but you know he, time. you know, because he's not five. Yeah. I don't think he's going to jail for the Nike case. Cause, no, that's whatever. Yeah. That that just recently, but I think he he going to jail for the uh the uh the, the fire, fire sticks. sticks. Yeah, All y'all good. back in the day, that was in, just trying to get the fire <laughs> sticks <laughs> and bootleg stuff. That was the man. Yeah. He a I ain't say he was the main guy, but he was a he was a part of the wave out there in Philly that what? everybody had the bootleg fire sticks and y'all was looking at Netflix. What? All them free movies and stuff. Y'all know y'all wasn't supposed to be seeing mm-hmm. on y'all fire sticks, and he was he was the uh, the cause yeah. of it. That guy made millions though. No nah. million, so nah. he gotta go do time. But he gotta go. Yeah, I think it was like five years. But I don't think he's he not gonna do the whole five. He's gonna do like half of that, maybe. You know what I'm saying? And get out some type of way. You know how this shit is. Yeah, money. We, we know money this, talk. We know this is America built on. You know what I mean? Like uh, Killer Mike said it a, a long time ago on a uh, on a video. He was like, back in the day, a lot of these, you know, these these big Caucasian families, you know, they was they was uh, they was through the mob. Yeah. And down the line. It got it got legit. So you know the uh, the alcohol era where you, where alcohol is illegal. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of them was bootlegging alcohol uh, and made their millions and got to and and, and got they got their fortune mm-hmm. and then left it alone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the other side with us, we still you know what I mean trying to get to them. You no, know, we trying to build our fortune with our families. Yeah, in these different various ways because now I so many different ways people doing Turo, Airbnb, credit. Man, people got whole credit businesses off of just credit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that blew my mind because like, damn, you can really just take this information and, and that's I, that's that got like the easiest one. You can take that and like run with it. You and don't teaching. need you don't need nothing. Yeah, you said teacher, man. And that's 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 the one wave too. Is just teaching it. Oh, teaching it. Doing, like everybody becoming teachers and buy my OnlyFans. But teach, teach. Yeah, you gotta be aware of that too, because there's a lot of people out here teaching, mm-hmm. but they don't got they don't got proof. Yeah. See, with you, you got proof because you know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. comes like, hey, I did my research on credit. I did my research on Airbnbs. That's You're true. doing your research now on uh yeah. truck driving. So I can come to you and be like, you know what? I can believe at least some of what you're saying because you're going through it. Yeah. I can't believe you know guy out here that's too they be confident as fuck. And I'm like I don't know what the receipt said, bro. Yeah, we never we, did we, it. Yeah, we you were truck said. Talking, man. Yeah, but they, yeah. but they, they run them plays. What, what they call it? Network marketing. Mm-hmm. They run them plays and they get all them people. They, they build the pyramid up, and once they build the pyramid up, is is it, it get to the point where everybody paying you was like, why stop? Mm-hmm. Like you ain't need to have the business no more. Really, I seen a lot of them that switched up and became other stuff. So that's why I be leery of. I'm just like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You come to Braggadocious podcast, it's different. Yeah, we give you the real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, for real, the real. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be 100 percent real, which I ain't gonna no, tell no lie. Not for everything sure. I've been through, so for sure. No, because I would love for you to get to the point where yeah. you know we got a class going on. We teaching these, you know, mm-hmm. teaching them the real place, giving them the blueprint, and the shit working consistently. Yeah, but you know, there's a lot of people doing, doing some weird stuff out here. So I huh, gotta just put that in the air. Like, hey, it's all legit over here. Mm-hmm. Nah, for sure, for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything else we got today? Man, that's probably about it, man. Hey, so we didn't hit truck driving, credit, LLC. Airbnbs. Yeah, we, we Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah, that was the main one, Airbnbs. Uh-huh. Yeah, you ain't did Toro. Yeah, we're going to get Monteria for the Toro, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Toro, if we don't, don't need you for that one, for sure, we're going to have to come back on the show. Uh-huh. I don't yeah. need you for that one. Yeah, I'm about to get on, get on Toro. So yeah. Somebody, man. For real, for real. But no, nah, but uh, hey man, I, man, I appreciate you, you yeah. know, for coming on. Oh yeah, appreciate you. Like, we you, we man. back for a new episode, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. hey, this is about to be hot, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, you in the running now? Yeah, next time I come back on the show, man, you go for real. Your boy gonna be yeah, money oh, gonna be hot. Oh, the production gonna be up. Trust yeah, me, yeah, we so might not, you know, we might not be in this spot over here. It might yeah. be like a whole yeah. little different type of studio. Yeah, you know real. what I'm saying? Just, yeah, that's how we doing is growing, growing every day, man. For real, I know you got to progress every day. And uh, any matter, any last words for like the youth. That you could, like, if you want to guide somebody now and just be like, hey, this, these, like, these few steps will help you go a lot further than where you are right now. Yeah. Man, if there's anything I have to say, uh, one thing I'm going to say is uh, keep your head down, study, learn, work your craft 100%, um, market, get out there and meet people, uh, get on the scene, and like, like I said, just keep. 
keep on doing that. Keep on studying. Stud- study and keep on learning. You know what I mean? Because the moment, like I said, the moment that you stop learning is the moment that you begin to die, right? So you got to be a shark. You got to be a shark. A shark never stops swimming. It never stops swimming because if they stop swimming, they're going to die. You know what I mean? So uh, that's what I believe. Just keep on learning, man. I'll always soak up as much knowledge as you can from anybody. You know what I'm saying? So even if even if the person is younger than you, you never know what they know. You know what I mean? They, they might be doing stuff that you ain't never did. So, yeah, just always uh, soak up knowledge. I know you got, you got, I think, I think this day age, you got to listen to the youth. Yeah. Because, boy, they here doing some shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> For real. Some shit. Like, you tell my mom about this shit now, the Airbnb and all this other shit going on, she's going to be looking at you like, yeah, you selling drugs. <laughs> yeah, Stay what is wrong. that? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. not. The money real, baby. The money yeah, real. real. Yeah, For sure. So, you know. And then... Get in real estate. I don't care who you are, what you're doing. I don't care if if you do a part time. Get in some form of real estate, man. Because real estate is that's 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 like the number one way to uh, you know gain wealth. Yeah, it's, it's number it's the one number one ga- Wayne, uh is wealth gainer. Yeah, man. That and that's and that's another thing too, man. Is uh when I was when I was trying to get into real estate, uh, I started noticing a lot of these celebrities, a lot of, like Oprah. And, uh, Steve Harvey, a lot of them own plenty of properties around the world. Like that, they own a lot of properties. So, matter of fact, yeah. I know we we come to. I got a, I got a quick story. I got a quick story, right? Mm-hmm. I don't really tell people like this about me. You know what I'm saying? I used to. Uh, I went to this all boys school, Provision. Shout out to Provision, mm-hmm. right? They actually had internships through the Manhood Program, right? Boom. You know what I'm saying? I went through the Manhood Program. And they had this internship thing going, right? I worked for this guy named Alan Hasselflu, right? Fidelity's really Fidelity's Realty Partners. You probably see the signs all around Texas and probably know what it means, right? What I learned, what I learned about real estate and working with him is all them little shopping strips y'all see and everything. Mm-hmm. All the little shopping strips you see and everything. Yeah. You wanna um that's what you wanna own. Not the strips, but the land under it. Cause once you own the land under it, yeah. everybody that everybody that got property on the land gotta that's pay that. you. Yeah. And when I seen and he worked it. He did it from that angle. Mm-hmm. And that whole little, with the improv at, yeah. he owned that whole little strip. All the little land under there from mm-hmm. the improv, the AMC 30, to the, uh, I think it's a bowling thing over there, all that. Mm-hmm. It's all his property. Yeah. And I, I worked there for like three years for the summertime. So, like, I guess I'll get it be like a year and a half or something like that. But anywho, um, when people, somebody was laying on rent, like a cleaner on, on the property was laying on rent. Mm-hmm. And they actually had keys to the property. It's their business. They got keys to the property, and they went, <clears throat> got some cash registers, and got their money yeah. to to help to, to help the business pay their bill. They bill down. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> they didn't want to give it to them fast. I ain't yeah. say fast enough, but it's like anything. You got a phone bill, they're gonna charge you interest stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But that's the angle I would love to hit. Yeah. From that, you know, we, we always think about it. Um, like I said, material stuff on top, stuff we can see, stuff we can grab. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's the shit that's we looking at the ground. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? It's underneath, and you can if you can acquire that. Anybody's putting anything on their property, gotta pay you. Mm-hmm. They gotta pay you. It's your yeah. property. Yeah, nah, yeah, your land. Land is important, man. And that's the reason why Texas we got all that. Uh, we got like a bunch of land just duh, because people own it, and um, and that's it. You know. Yeah. That's how I live. Hey, man, but. <clears throat> One last shout out, man. Like I said, y'all go follow my Instagram, man. Houston, Texas. Uh, EJ the man. Go follow me, follow me, follow me, man. I'm not for sure, man. This, hey, this was a lovely episode, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, EJ the man. Man, I'm glad my boy came through. Hey, man, in a year or so, man, hey, it's come, he going up, man, all the way up. So, man, y'all go follow his Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that support, like, follow, subscribe. Hey, I need y'all to run it up for braggadocious for the one time, you know what I'm saying? And hey, shit, that was it, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you coming through. What's up, what's up, man? Hey, shit, that's it, y'all.